Compound interest. This is not the first time you met the word compound. In fact, you met compound in a science subject, like your compound microscope. A compound microscope is a microscope that uses many lenses, and those lenses multiplies the power of the eyepiece lens. We also have compound in chemistry. In chemistry, a compound is a substance that is composed of two or more than two distinct atoms. We also have compound in writing. We have such a thing as a compound sentence. So a compound sentence is a sentence that has two or more, more than two complete sentences that are joined together by a conjunction. So what is compound interest? It is interest earned by the principal plus previously earned interests. So the idea behind compound is being more than one, two or more than two. And so the reason why we call compound interest compound is because interests comes from two sources. It comes from the principal and it also comes from the previously earned interests. So let T be the number of years. P is the principal. It can be a loan. It can be an investment. R, the rate of interest per year. And A is the accumulated value. So let us derive the equation that will give us the accumulated value of, of an investment. So at the end of the first year, at the end of the first year, the accumulated value is equal to the principal plus interest. But interest is equal to R times the principal. We can factor out P. This is equal to P times 1 plus R. At the end of the second year, the accumulated value is equal to the accumulated value from the previous year plus interest, and the interest is going to be R times the accumulated value from the previous year. Let us factor out. So the common factor is P times 1 plus R. Let's factor it out. Okay, so what will be left here is 1 plus R. So at the end of the second year, our, our accumulated value is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to 2. At the end of the third year, our accumulated value is equal to the accumulated value from the previous year plus the interest earned by that accumulated value after one year. Let us factor out a common factor. The common factor is P times 1 plus R squared. What will be left here is 1 So at the end of the third year, it's going to be the accumulated value is P times the quantity 1 plus R raised to the third power. And so on and so forth. We can now see here the pattern. After T years, the accumulated value of your investment is P times 1 plus R raised to T. Or let us compare compound interest to simple interest. Compound interest is an exponential function, whereas simple interest is a linear function. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you the graph of these two functions. I will open, I will open an Excel file. Actually, I, I already prepared the, my data values for this file. So CI stands for compound interest. SI stands for simple interest. The initial investment is one peso. Look at the formula here. 
and the rate of interest is 0.02 or 2%, 2% a year. So what's going to happen with these two functions? What's going to happen with these two investments? One is growing by compound interest and one is growing by simple interest. So let us show the trend for these two investments by producing a scatter plot. You know, problems like this or topics like this is an opportunity for you to hone your skills in using Excel. So that's it. These are the graphs of the two investments. One is growing by compound interest, the blue ones, and the orange one is growing by simple interest. So an investment or a loan that is growing by compound interest will grow exponentially. And an investment or a loan that is growing by simple interest will grow linearly. Let us show the graphs of these two functions. So compound interest grows exponentially. Simple interest grows linearly. 